Okay, these points are called Martindales, and I believe this is an early archaic style. A lot of these do have twists in the blade, okay, and uh, it feels like a lot of these are slightly ground on the base. And there's usually substantial, even though they're thin, they're very careful to make this area very substantial and strong, okay, and it's a deeper, relatively deep haft. So these are very strong, probably projectile points. This is a impact fracture here that went down the side or went down the edge and snapped. No damage to the base. On these, it's very rare to see damage on the base from snapping on, on impact, okay? In fact, I think all these that I have on loan are intact on the base and, I mean, almost perfectly intact. There might be a slight chip on some of these, but most of these are very, uh, very intact, okay? And again, Martindale is characterized by the fishtail type base. This one has a, uh, I don't see a twist in this one. The size variation is, is uh, a little more consistent than the Frio. So, uh, and if you measure the neck width, it's actually very consistent. There's a, a very little difference in neck width. Uh, with the Frio, it's all over the place. The one, that video prior to this one. Okay. Uh, so I haven't gone back and measured the neck. And what I mean by neck is between the notches. I haven't measured them to see what the range or what the average is and what the upper and lower range is. But I have a feeling, just by looking at these, that it's fairly consistent. Even with a wider blade, you have the same neck, which tells me they were designed to be resharpened in the haft. What I mean, there's no other modification needed other than the blade. This one looks like um, yeah, an impact fracture. And when I show them up close, uh, you can kind of tell this one has a little bit of a twist in it. Uh, that last one did not. This one has a clear impact fracture. No damage to the base. Another clear example of an impact fracture. Little barb fracture there, but base is intact and you know almost perfect this one has uh, if it has any grinding it's very slight okay and this is an impact fracture as well there, there's a big uh, flake scar here okay and if I uh, I've taken average measurements of at lateral four shafts right that'll dart four shafts and I think it's an average of 11 millimeters or about a half inch and all of those all of these fit nicely into that measurement okay substantial in the basic hefty so these were very strong strongly uh, Hafted probably for large animals shooting megafauna, maybe. I'm not sure exactly when the extinction point uh, happened, whether it overlaps with Martindale or not. And uh, But uh, it looks like it could take down a large animal uh, just by the strength of the haft, the sharpness of the blade. All of these are sharp. Uh, there's a few. Uh, this one is twisted here which may be resharpened, and it's not as sharp as some of these other ones that are wider. The wider they are, the more sharp they appear to be. Okay, like this one, this edge looks pristine, and it's extremely thin and sharp. There is a bit of a twist in this one already, so it may have been resharpened once, or it may have been just made that way. There is a large percussion scar right off the edge. So there wasn't too much reworking on this one yet. 
Yeah, they're all very thin. If they look pristine, I mean, it, if it looks like it's not modified, uh, it's, chances are they're going to be very thin and sharp. This this type of thinness and sharpness on the edge is very close to the edges on early triangular that I've that I've looked at. I don't have any here. But early triangular points have a very thin, very sharp edge. And this this is very close to that sort of edge. I mean I can't I can't see much difference between early triangular and this as far as edge work. Uh, and it makes sense these are early archaic and I think early triangular overlaps between paleo and early archaic as well. So similar technology. Just different base configuration. Similar blade technology. Okay. All right.